Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back here. I know that it has been a little while. This August has been a little crazy with some different things and I have had to take a step back from YouTube, but I'm excited to kind of rev back up and get back into it. I am in my new office space right now, which I'm going to film a tour in the next week or two and share with you what it looks like. This is just one corner of it, my little new filming corner. I'm really, really excited about that to have a quiet corner of the house to film because filming up in the front room has been working okay, but this is like so much easier and so much better to just have a place that's dedicated to it. So I'm really excited about that. Today I'm going to share my July and August favorites. So usually I just share one month worth of favorites at a time, but today I'm going to share both July and August because July just swept through and I never ended up sharing my July favorites and here we are at the tail end of August so I figured it was a good time to share and there's also been a lot of overlap things that I've been loving in both months so I thought this would work out well. If you are interested, I have an entire playlist full of the rest of 2018 favorites, so I will link that above if you want to go check it out, and then below I'll leave a link to 18 months worth of monthly favorites blog posts that I have on my blog before I shifted over to doing the favorites on my YouTube channel. So that's that. Let's get into it. So I always separate my favorites into different categories. The first category being food and drink and I as always have my phone with me which has all of the um, notes that I want on it so let's first start with food and drink so the first item in my food and drink category that I have been loving is this chai tea concentrate which I will pop a picture in if you don't know what I'm talking about it comes in like a carton like what almond milk traditionally comes in and it is chai tea concentrate and the kind that I get is lightly sweetened I have been loving doing half of that and half of coconut milk or something like that and making an iced chai tea latte in the mornings this summer it is so delicious super easy and it saves a lot of money versus going out to the coffee house so I've been really enjoying that. So that's the first thing in my food and drinks category. The second thing are these. These are called Balanced Breaks. They are by Sargento and um, I've tried a couple of different kinds. Basically they have cheese and then nuts, mixed nuts, and um, some dried fruit. So this one has sharp cheddar cheese, sea salted cashews, and cherry juice infused dried cranberries. And you can see on the back, it just, it's literally just half cheese, half dried fruit and nuts. These are so awesome for the afternoon. A lot of times I'm working and it's like 2.30 or 3. It's going to be three more hours until dinner. It's been about three hours since lunch. I'm super hungry and I want to grab something easy. I love these. This is a different flavor. This one is white cheddar cheese, sea salted almonds, and dried cranberries. But um, I think this one's my favorite, the one with the, um, with the cashews and the... Um, cherry infused cranberries. These would be super easy to make. Um, they're quite expensive. I think they break down to being like, they come in a pack of three. I think they're about $3 at my grocery store. So they spent, it's like a dollar each. So they're not cheap. Um, they would be great for like road trips. They would be, there's so many reasons why these, I really like having them on the go. Um, but I think what I might do is um, kind of make my own, is get like little containers that maybe have two things, cut up some cheese and put some dried fruit and nuts in them. Um, but this is what gave me the idea. So anyway, if you are someone who needs something that's super easy on the go, something to eat, I love these. And they're quite filling. Like, you know, they're not overly filling, but they're filling enough that it's a good solid snack and they're so yummy. I love them. The last thing in my food and drink category for this month is from Starbucks, which I always, I almost always share a Starbucks drink because it's like one of the only things going for us. <laughs> In our small town, we end up at Starbucks quite a lot, but there is a tea there that I really like called Passion Tango Herbal Tea. It's caffeine-free. It kind of has like a bright um, pinkish, reddish color, um, so some of you might know what I'm talking about. But the drink that I've been, I've been getting that for years, but the drink that I specifically have been loving to get is to get that tea with no water. So if you're familiar, Starbucks makes their teas in concentrates, basically. They're like brewed double strength, and then they put some of the concentrate in, and then they put it water in. And it doesn't taste watered down, it tastes tastes great. But then as the ice melts, it might get a little bit watered down, which some people might like. I really like strong tea, so I started ordering it no water, meaning that they fill the, 
the container up with ice then they put the tea like concentrate in the double strength tea in sometimes I get it sweetened sometimes I get it lightly sweetened sometimes I get it unsweetened but however I do it I then get that and what I love is that it's so hot here it's like 100 degrees every day in the summer and so as the ice melts it still tastes like full strength tea you know what I mean um, because I'm not the kind of person who just like guzzles down my drinks. I end up drinking it over an hour or two and I love this because as the ice melts it's like you get a drink from start to finish. So anyway that's my little Starbucks drink that I've been drinking this summer a whole lot um, which I usually get a venti so I get a venti passion tango iced tea with no water and um, like I said sometimes I get it sweetened sometimes I don't kind of depends on my mood for the day but it is yummy. Moving on to makeup and beauty. This month I have two things and they're very similarly shaped containers, which is funny. The first thing is something that I've talked about several times on my channel. I've talked about it in my gift guide from last year. Um, I know that when I was blogging my favorites, I mentioned this a few times, but I just absolutely love it. It is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and they have a whole bunch of different scents that you can get throughout the year. Um, my favorite of all is this Almond and Honey scent. It is so, so nice, especially for fall and winter. It just has this, if you like the scent of anything almond or amaretto, that kind of scent, you will love this, which that is one of my favorites. Mm, it's so good. It smells so good. It just has such a cozy, warm smell. Um, so anyway, I love using this. I always use this every single time that I shave my legs in the shower. So I first use this to exfoliate my legs and then I shave my legs after and I find that I get a much closer shave and I'm able to go a lot longer. Um, it also helps with irritation for me with shaving my legs. But I also use it, you know, I use it on my hips, I use it on my feet, I use it on my arms. Like, I use it all over my body every I don't know, fifth shower or something. I don't use it every single time, maybe once every week, once every 10 days. I'll use this all over my body, but every time I shave, I use it. It's just so nice. It's not very expensive. I love the formula of it, and it um, really exfoliates, but then it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized. I just have really enjoyed it. I think it's about $5, $6, and one of these lasts me quite a while. Um, so it's it's a pretty worthwhile investment, at least for me. So um, as with everything that I'm going to mention today, I will leave a link below if I'm able to find it. A lot of these things I buy online anyway, because it's just the easiest way for me. But um, the almond and honey is great. There's there's many other, I almost said flavors, um, scents that I also enjoy, but this one is my favorite. The other item in my makeup and beauty category this month is this body butter. It is from Brandless, which I have been talking about a whole lot lately. It is in a coconut water scent. It's a really super thick consistency. You can see there really well um, the consistency of it. I really love it. I was so, so happy with the green tea and aloe brandless um, lotion, which is more of a run, it's a runnier, you know, less viscous consistency. Um, and so I decided to grab this one, which has shea butter in it. And I just really, really like it. It feels it's, I don't really like putting it on in the morning cause I, it's, it's like too heavy for the morning. But when I take a nice hot shower in the evening and then I put this on, I wake up and my skin feels so moisturized. Every single time I put this on, my husband makes a comment about how good it smells. He's like, you smell so amazing. Um, it's just a very nice, it's coconut water, but it doesn't have that strong like sunscreen smell. It's just like light. It, the water, the, the the I'm sure they called it coconut water because it evokes like a lighter scent and it's just really good. I've been so happy with Brandless. Um, I did a sponsored video with them, which I will link above, um, trying out some of their new beauty products. This was not in that video. This is something that I purchased separately, but I've been really happy with it. Um, as I mentioned in that video, I think it's a really, I mean, it's a great company. I've been using this stuff myself, but I think for like stockings or gift baskets or um, I don't know, anything like that where you don't want to spend a lot of money, every single thing on the website is $3. So I will leave my referral link below. If you use it, then you get $6, which is two free items. And in theory, I get six free dollars as well, although my referrals have hit their cap for the year. So I'm not getting anything um, out of this anymore. But but I just want to pass it on because I genuinely really have been enjoying their products and their food's been great. They're everything pretzels. They're like everything bagel pretzels are my favorite. I love them. Moving on to my home decor and products section. This is something that I've talked about a little bit on Instagram, but one of my favorite things in the past couple of months has been my dog Charlie's car seat. <laughs> Yes, you heard that right. So my dog Charlie is about 10 pounds. He's this little Maltese poodle mix. He's 
precious and um, whenever we drive somewhere which is not very often we don't go on car rides with him a whole lot but whenever we do I always was really nervous because he is just kind of anxious in the car and I'm like climbing all over me and I'm driving and I just was always thinking Blair you can't let it get to the point where you're like getting in a fender bender because he's so distracting that you do something about it so a couple of weeks ago I decided to go ahead and do some research and I found this fantastic doggy car seat with um, and then I purchased separately a harness um, that is like not around his neck that's like an actual harness to put him in when he's in the car and it has made a world of difference it is literally night and day part of the reason why he was climbing all over us was because he wanted to be able to see out and now he can see out and so it is like so fantastic we love it i will pop in a picture or two here of what it looks like um, it is not super inexpensive i found it to be a little bit pricey but it's the kind of thing that you pretty much have forever i mean if your dog chews and destroys things then maybe not but charlie doesn't chew and destroy things at all i mean literally he still has the very first toy i've ever given him like he just <laughs> he just is not that kind of dog so anyway he is so happy he can see out the window i know that he's completely strapped in and safe and some of the amazon reviews i got it off Amazon shocker said um, had pictures of people who unfortunately had gotten into fender benders and car accidents and um, that harness and car seat combo had really kind of saved their dog's life um, so it made me feel it was something that I felt really good about the the car seat comes in gray or tan so you can match it to your car's interior and we've just been so happy with it I know since sharing it on Instagram I've had several people message me that they've gone ahead and bought one for their dog and they love it too so if you have a dog um, specifically if you have a smaller dog this they have a larger size though that I don't know how big of a dog it could accommodate but um, I would imagine at least up to 20 or 30 pounds, if not more. Um, we got the small size in the tan color, but I'll link it below. It's from Amazon. I just love it. I love it so much. It makes us take Charlie with us more places because it's just safe and he is so much happier than when he's, he's just so little and he was just, you know, sliding all around the car. So two thumbs up for his new doggy car seat. Another item in the home decor and product section that I've had for a while that I've never talked about on my favorites is this little thing. It is called the Angry Mama Microwave Cleaner and essentially on the back, let me pull this apart to show you. I was using it this morning so it's still a little wet and I thought I need to add this to my favorites. The fact that I've never shown it is crazy. I'm not sure how well you can see the um, markings. It says vinegar and then up here it says water and you're supposed to put um, white vinegar in until this line and then you put water up until this line and then you pop her little funny angry head on. And then her little hair which have um, has holes in it to kind of put the steam through and then you just stick it in the microwave for like five minutes eight minutes however long it takes and the the mixture of the vinegar and water obviously gets hot and steams out the top and then after you pull her out of the microwave you can just wipe your microwave down and it looks fantastic like completely sparkling new just from using this and it doesn't you know it's just vinegar and water I love this thing I mentioned this in a vlog a couple of months ago and again I had a few people who messaged me to say that they bought it on my recommendation and they love it um, it's something that I do probably once every two weeks it is like I really am freaked out when I am at someone's house or whatever and I like open up the microwave and it's, it has like splatters of red sauce and crumbs and crust and all this because this takes five minutes. <laughs> it just, it's just like, it freaks me out. So this is such a easy, easy way to keep your microwave clean. It literally takes the active amount of time it takes is maybe two, two and a half minutes, um, you know, filling it up. Then you just pop in the microwave, you leave it. And when you go back, you just take a cloth and just wipe it down because the mixture has steamed all the food off and all the staining and all that. So every time I use it, my husband says um, he'll come home from for lunch or whatever, and I'll have done it in the morning. And he'll be like, whoa, the microwave looks so clean because it's it's it just gets it sparkling. I love this thing, this little angry mama, and I think it's hilarious. This would be a good stocking stuffer as well. Can you tell that I'm ready for Christmas? The last thing in my home decor and products category for this month is this armband. It is for working out at the gym and putting your phone in. 
I really like it because unlike most armbands which require you to take your case off, you don't have to take your case off um, for this one. It's just like this stretchy rubber so you just take your phone you just take your phone and even like I have a kind of a, I have a big phone um, and then I have a quite a large case and you just stretch it around it. Now, I would normally kind of adjust it a little bit better, but it works so, so, so well. And then you can just put it on your arm and work out. And I also like it because it turns. So if you're like have it here and you want to pull it towards you so you can see what you're doing, it does turn. So this thing is awesome. I've loved using it. Riley bought it off Amazon. Um, and we both, we, we don't usually work out together at the same time. Sometimes we do, but usually um, I work out in the, you know, during the day in the morning and then he works out in the evening. So we both have a chance to use it, but I just absolutely love this thing. It's one of the best that I've ever used and I've really enjoyed using it. Moving on to the entertainment category. I have two things in this category this month. The first is the TV show Arrested Development, which is obviously not a new show. And I'm sure that many of you have seen Arrested Development and probably many of you are big fans of it as well. We watched it, Riley's watched it for years. I watched the show for the first time a couple of years ago. Um, one fall evening a couple of years ago, Riley asked if I had ever seen it. I said no. He was like, I think you would really like it. So we ended up watching the show from start to finish. And then this summer, we did that again. Um, so a lot of times after we eat dinner, We'll go sit on the couch and watch, you know, an hour of TV together or whatever, just to unwind and relax before we kind of get into our evening. And um, we watched it again from start to finish, um, the whole show. And it is, it's just like a wacky, silly, lighthearted show. It was perfect for the summer. It was just the kind of thing that I want to watch in the summer. Um, if you know me, I don't like watching heavy things. I don't like watching drama. I don't, I have no desire to watch things like that. It's just not enjoyable to me. And this is something that's, it's silly, it's goofy, it's kind of wacky, and the, the actors and actresses in it are just great. It's just really funny and really lighthearted. So um, I really, really enjoyed watching Arrested Development again this summer. The other thing on my in my entertainment category for the past couple of months has been this audiobook. It is called America's First Daughter and it is by Stephanie Dre and Laura Cam Camwa. Not sure how to say Laura's last name. Um, but here is what it looks like. I've been listening to it on Audible. I still have three hours and 17 minutes. It was a very long audiobook. I think it was 24 or 25 hours long, which is about three times as long as any other book that I've listened to. It is historical fiction about Thomas Jefferson's oldest daughter. And, um, I've just loved listening to it. It is just a really uh, an interesting story. It's been such a great summer read um, because it is, it's been, I wouldn't say slow paced in terms of boring, but a nice long book that I've been reading for the past couple of months, you know, every day listening to it for, you know, half an hour or whatever while I'm getting ready and just slowly kind of enjoying this story. It's just been a really nice mental retreat of a book. So if you, I love historical fiction. If you like historical fiction, I think you would really enjoy this. Um, it's really, it's really a, it's been a neat, a neat read. And like I said, I'm not done yet. I still have three hours left, um, but I'm getting very close because like I said, it started out being like 24, 25 hours long. But I definitely recommend it. Um, I had a lot of you who said that you loved this book. I think I mentioned that I was going to read it and then a bunch of you in a vlog told me that you had read it and you loved it. And I have really been enjoying it as well. And I'm really excited to see how the author, I guess the authors kind of tie it up there at the end because there's a lot of loose ends right now. And um, it's just been really enjoyable. It's been a really enjoyable read. Next up is my clothing and accessories category and of course I have to share my new Dooney & Burke handbag. This is the Darcy in pebble grain leather. I just am obsessed with this bag. I love it so much. I've done an extensive tour of it, so to speak, in my What's In My Bag, my most recent one, so I'll pop a link to that video above if you haven't watched it yet and you're interested in it. But man, I love this bag. I just love carrying it. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's been super, super great. Um, so definitely like it. The only thing I will say that, the only thing I don't like about it is that the bag itself is, 
I don't want to say heavy because that's not really true, but it's heavier than bags I've had in the past. So just on its own, it's heavy. So I have to be thoughtful about what I put in it so that it doesn't get too heavy. Um, so that's just been kind of like a different change that I've made. But overall, I've just loved that bag. It just, I just love it. I feel like I feel so much more polished when I'm carrying it. The other items in my clothing and accessories category, is that where we are? Yes, are these shorts. Okay, so I have two different pairs of these shorts in two different colors, but they are the exact same. I just pulled both of them out of the dryer yesterday, and so they're like kind of curled up, um, but I wouldn't normally iron these before I would wear them, so I didn't want to iron them for this video. Um, but once you wear them, they, they flatten out and the cuffs look great. So this is, um, these are both the brand Riders by Lee, and the reason I am so obsessed with these is, first of all, they are not booty shorts. I do not like booty shorts. I feel so uncomfortable, um, and I also am not a huge fan of, like, the longer Bermuda shorts, and I feel like these are just a nice length where they're, like, more modest, but they're not so long. Um, they're, and I do like them also because you can actually unravel them, so if you want them to be longer, you can make them longer, but I've been wearing them, you know, cuffed up with the little button. Um, I love them so much because the back is actually elastic. So the front is totally normal and there is like a functional fly and a functional button. Um, the, everything's normal, you know, the pockets are functional, all that. They're not like some leggings where it's like all fake. Um, pockets in the back, everything like that. But the back of them are spandex. So when you're wearing them, they are just so, so, so comfortable because they bend with your body. and um, when I am moving throughout my day, I don't sit at a desk all day. I definitely do a lot of computer work, but I also am cleaning my house and cooking and I do a lot of Etsy order packaging, which is a whole thing and I'm moving around, I'm bending over and I'm doing this and that and I need something that moves with me. It's why I really don't wear jeans or shorts or anything that doesn't have some kind of spandex or elastic in it because I hate that feeling of feeling like my clothing is like digging into my body when I'm bending over and moving around. You know, I need something that moves with me. So I have loved these. Um, these are the same way. Now, if you wore crop tops or something like that, you might not want to wear these kinds of shorts because people would see the elastic, but I only wear longer tops, so nobody ever sees it. People compliment me on these shorts every single time I'm wearing them almost. I mean, that sounds pretty conceited, but they just are a nice length. They're just a nice, they look modern. They, they're not too long. They're definitely not too short. I really like them. And the um, material itself has some spandex in it as well. They're just really comfortable. Um, and the cuffs and everything, I just think they're really cute. I really, really like wearing them. Um, so these hilariously are from Walmart. I have found so many good um, clothing items at Walmart. There's someone I follow on Instagram, Shelly Smith. You might follow her. Her blog is, and her Instagram handle is House of Smiths. And she was posting all these cute, she and her daughters in her home, she, they're just like adorable. And she was posting all these cute outfits and she was like, it's from Walmart, it's from Walmart, it's from Walmart. And I was like, Walmart has cute clothes? Like, who knew? So when I was there grabbing some things, in early July or some, sometime around then, I was like, I'm just gonna walk through the, the women's clothing section and I saw these shorts and I thought, those are so cute. So I got the green ones first and I just loved them that the next week I went back and got these kind of royal blue ones. Um, but I have just been so, so happy with them. I love them and I love the spandex. They are so comfortable. So anyway, I have, they're not, um, they are sized with numbers. So you would wear, like, like I wear my normal women's size. They're not sized like small, medium, and large. And they are the Riders by Lee mid-rise short. That is what they're called. These things, they're so comfy. Love them. All right, let's talk about priceless. This is always my favorite category to share because these are the things that are really memories. All this stuff is fun to share and share what I've been loving in like the stuff category, but these priceless things are much more important to me. So first of all, we celebrated 4th of July the way that we always do, which is that we go to a local lake with Riley's side of the family and it was so much fun and I vlogged the whole day. So I'll pop a link to that video above if you're interested in watching and seeing how we spent our fourth but um i just love it it's just so much fun i actually wore those blue shorts for the day um but yeah it was a, it was a really really fun day a really nice way to celebrate and um i just love our traditions on the fourth of july so that happened and that was great 
also one of my best friends from Austin so I used to live in Austin Texas and one of my best friends just got married in early August and she got married in San Antonio so Riley and I road tripped down to San Antonio to see her wedding and it was just stunning she just looked so beautiful and she was so happy it was so great to see her and see some of my other friends from Austin while I was at the wedding so all in all it was just it was it was lovely it was so nice to get away and get out of town even if it was only for two nights um, and just to see your friend get married there's just nothing like it it's so much fun another thing in the priceless category which I'm not sure that this is the category it belongs in because it was not priceless it costs some money um, is this office space oh my gosh y'all I'm so excited to share it with you in a video coming up soon I have like this amazing desk and I have like this wonderful new space. It's so organized, it's so functional. Um, if you follow along, you might know that for the past like three years basically, um, ever since I've been working for myself from home, I've had like little corners that have kind of been my office, but I've never had like a full space that's completely set up for me. And it's been completely fine. I've made, you know, made do, but it got to the point where we were like, it's time, like it's time to get it so that you have your own space. And it has been such a blessing. It's been such a joy to work in here, to Skype with my new mentees in here. I've been, I just love it. I can't wait to share it with you. So, um, it is, it's just awesome. I'm just, I am like thrilled. Literally every morning I wake up and I, the first thing I do is come into this room and just like soak it all in because it's so wonderful to have a space that's set aside to blog and, you know, film YouTube videos and edit YouTube videos and work with my mentees and package Etsy orders. And it's like, it's this space that has become so multifunctional for all the different things that I do. And I just love it. The very last thing on my list today and the last thing in my price list category is having some time off in August. So in very, very late July, at the end of one of my vlogs, I made the comment that I knew August was going to be difficult because I was gonna have a lot going on in mentorship and Etsy and things like that, and that I wanted to get this space done, which I am I did need time for that. And, um, and so that I was gonna pull back from YouTube and I just wasn't gonna be sharing as much and just don't be worried about me, don't, you know, don't think anything, it's just that I just need some time. And it was really so nice. It was so nice to take some time off of filming and editing and all the different things that go along with that so that I could really fill my time and my focus with getting this whole space um, completed and I onboarded many, many new mentees into my blogger mentorship program and I was able to work on Etsy and just things that I needed some extra mental energy and, and physical time to do. I was able to really do those things in the past month. So I'm really grateful for that. It's been really nice. I appreciate your patience. I know some of you are like, when are you going to be sharing videos again? Um, here I am. I'm going to try to continue sharing videos um, maybe two times a week, but don't hold me to that. I'm kind of re, you know, ramping back on um, to getting back to sharing content more regularly, but it was so nice to have some time off and um, I feel like it helps your creative energy as well just to take a step back. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Anyway, those are my favorites for July and August of this year, 2018. I would love to hear what you've been loving lately if you want to drop a comment below and let me know. As always, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. I have a weekly vlog coming out soon and another sit down video coming out soon, so I'm excited about both of those. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.